everybody, Jerry Bellini here from Recycled Parts for Art, and today is a design team challenge for Gina Bronzini Aarons, and my desk is quite the mess, and that's okay because you guys are my friends, and you will understand. <laughs> you won't hold it against me that it's a mess. So first, I, firstly, I just wanted to show you, um, today's prompt is um, stamps, stamping. Okay, so these are Gina's stamps and I keep them in a big bag. I love, I love to see them like this. They just make me want to create. So that's why they're here on my desk like this and I'm just going to push them off to the side. What my thoughts are for the stamping is to make some bookmarks. And I thought a couple things. Uh, for a couple reasons. I have, I love to jelly print, and so I have quite a lot of jelly paper on cardstock. So I have some of that here. I know not everyone jelly prints, so I've got just some regular cardstock here, and then I've just got some peony paper here, which is cardstock thickness. So I wanted to give you an option on how to do this. This is what I'm going to start with. So then I'm going to go through this pile of stamps and I'm going to pick out a few stamps that I think, um, well, that are going to inspire me. And I'm going to stamp up a couple cards. And after I do that, I'm going to come back and show you what my next thought is. Because we're not going to just stamp these cards because I can't just do that. That's too boring. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, this is what I wound up with. I used several stamps uh, from Gina's collection. This, this is a stamp, this is, and so is this. And this is actually a stencil that I couldn't resist. And just mark that out with a Sharpie pen. So I'm not going to just leave these as stamps. I'm going to work uh, with this. So this is my idea. I've been doing uh, scribble art, and if you're not sure what that is, you can follow me on Instagram, Recycle Parts for Art, and that's with the number four. So I've been doing a scribble on a piece of paper, and then I've been creating uh, people, basically, out of the scribble. So what I decided to do with this is use the stamps and then create more around the stamps. So I think I'm going to start with this one, okay? And I'm going to let you watch me on camera do this. And I'm going to probably fast forward this, um, but just, uh, you might enjoy watching me. All right, here I go. Alrighty, so this is how I do my um, scribble art. Um, normally, I would scribble on a piece of paper and create art around the scribble, but in this case, I'm actually using Gina's stamps and stencils to get me started. And what I do after I get the basic shape down, in this case, it's a stamp and stencil, is I will get my pencil, a regular pencil, and just sketch in very quickly uh, what I'm thinking. So I look at a shape and I let it evolve. And after I get the pencil lines down, if I'm kind of happy with uh, the whole thing, I will go back in and cover it up with, in this case, I'm using a Posca marker. Normally, on my scribble art, I use a Sharpie. Okay, so that's what you saw me doing, penciling and then getting my Posca. Now, this is where I'm showing you I already decided on a shape and drew it out. And yes, I used a stencil for this, for the head. And that inspired, well, I thought it was a head. <laughs> In my mind, I thought it was a head. So it inspired this person. So there I am with my pencil, just kind of making sure that I'm happy with the placement of the facial. Of facial, is that a word? Let's let's make that be a new word. <laughs> facial features, and then of course a lot of my scribble art you'll notice has flowers 
um, coming out of them somewhere. So I'm just kind of quick sketching in some flower shapes. And this is just like a rough thing. And I'm sorry I went off screen here. I apologize. But I think you kind of get the basic drift. And so now I'm just going over with the Posca. And I will often, when I'm putting the color on, uh, because in my scribble art, I actually use um, ink tents blocks or ink tents pencils. So when I put the color in, I will generally not just put one layer of color, I'll put several layers of color. And you'll see that I think in a in a minute. So yes, so now I'm going to start putting down some color. So I first I put purple, then I put some pink on top, and it really gives it uh, more of a interesting look, I think. So that's what I'm doing in this segment. All right, now I switched to a different card because, you know, Posca is an acrylic paint. And so it is wet. So I have to let it dry. Otherwise, I'm going to stick my hand in there and smear it, which I've done a million times. So now I'm just going back and outlining the flowers that I drew down. Please forgive that little bing noise. It's my computer. It's talking to me. And that's basically, you know, that's basically what I do. So I let the shapes uh, tell me what to draw, what emotion or thought or whatever that comes out and I just like my people to be whimsical and there you have it I hope you have enjoyed seeing me do this process and um, yeah I'm going around the outside edge and as soon as I'm finished with that I'm going to show you how I put uh, a laminate um, covering on it plastic covering Alrighty, welcome back to my mess. And I wanted to show you the finished bookmarks, and I'm very, very happy with them. And I wanted to tell you the last thing that I decided to do. So I'm going to give you uh, three options. One is if you have a laminator, you can laminate your bookmarks to, um, you know, give them that finished protection of the plastic and it will make them stiffer as well. Number two is you can use a um, page protector and you can cut it out a little bit bigger. I cut mine out a half an inch bigger than my bookmark and then stitch around the outside edge. Or you could use, I have these um, transparencies a friend of mine gave me a whole package of them and that's all it is is clear you probably can't see that but it's clear plastic uh, very similar to uh, packaging um, and even the, the um, page protectors so what I did I have a laminator but I wanted to show you what you could do if you don't have a laminator I stitched around the outside edge of the bookmark. So I cut it a half of an inch larger and then just stitched around the outside edge close to the edge and then just slid the bookmark inside and then I'm going to just go back along with my sewing machine and I love these ratty edges so I will probably trim them you know to about there. Just trim them short and that's it and I am seriously happy with the way these turned out and I will be sending out two of them uh, in happy mail and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and what I made with my stamping and all the links to the stamps uh, Gina's uh, Etsy shop will be in the description box below and uh, I hope you have a blessed day full of love and recycled art. Until next time, 
I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Thanks for watching, by the way, <laughs> before I hang up. Please like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. And please, if you haven't already visited my new website, Recycle Parts with the number four art, please go check it out and sign up for my newsletter. I would seriously appreciate it. Bye.